Boom. Canon A B one. I'm just going to go over the process of removing the top. the front plate here because we need to access these two screws right there. So I might have talked about this before, but in terms of taking these things apart, if you don't have a mat like this, or if you have a mat like this and it's as messy as mine is, I kind of like to corral those four screws there. And then I'll take these two screws off and place them in this little decorative thing. It's like a little tray. So then take the screwdriver, place it in here. That was pretty tight on there. Unscrew that, there we go. I'm just gonna close the back for now because I trust myself to not plop this down in there. But as you may know, uh, I've talked about this a few times, but typically I like to just remove the back. That way I don't have to worry about accidentally pushing this down in there, but neither here nor there. So I use these and I uh, get them in here and just kind of open up this little C-clamp deal spacer thing. And then underneath that, it's just this little decorative piece here. I guess it's more of a protective cover than decorative, but you know, potato, potato. Try to get it off. This is where you can see a lot of gunk just kind of accumulates over time. So it's always nice to remove that and kind of clean out underneath it at the very least. Uh, now we're going to jump over to this part and this is kind of a controversial segment because there is a right way to do it and then there is um, the incorrect way. So how you want to do it is set it to 3200 on the ASA and bulb. Now. As I'm doing that, you can see over here that, that is adjusting this, and that's because there's the pulley system with the tungsten wire that runs throughout here. And by setting it this way, you're basically uh, releasing a lot of the tension from the system. Which is always good. Less tension is better. This comes off fairly easily. I just use these like rosary pliers is what they're called. Like so. There are um, washers that sit under here. I just removed this whole unit like that. And then there's this little dish here. So all of that kind of comes off like so. And then there's this here, which is a little screw deal. That comes off. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Take that, put that there. And then there is this. And as we can see, this is kind of flopping back. This comes off like so. I don't think I've made an explicit video going over how to do this. I've talked about it. I know I've done it, but I've not been like, this is how you remove the top of an AE1. So hopefully that covers that base. With stuff like this, it's like relatively common for me to just do. And I don't think about it because I've done it so many times. So it's one of those things where I'm like, ah, I don't need to make a video about it because you all know, but you don't. So that's my bad. I apologize for that. And we just kind of shimmy the top off. I like to kind of be delicate about taking the top off just because the wire is sitting there. I don't want to like scratch it or fucking, you know, I don't know, break it or anything like that. And also these things are just kind of old. So I think the more delicate you can be, the better. It doesn't hurt to take your time. Top comes off just like that and you are greeted with all of this. Now I've done the under the hood uh, version of this, but really what I want to talk about briefly while we're here, things I kind of like to do at this stage, I just always like to remove the viewfinder. And I do that by 
taking the screwdriver, sliding it on the other side of the tungsten wire. There's two screws that hold the housing in. And really all I'd like to do is get behind there and clean it out because stuff just kind of accumulates in there over time. And, you know, it takes not a whole lot of time to get in there to clean it out. And it just kind of increases the uh, overall UX, so to speak. Nice, nice. You can see back in there, there's like a, maybe not very well, but there's a decent amount of dust. So we're just gonna take the old, I need to buy more of these. Running low on my stock. Take that, get the dust out of there. Then I'm gonna take the viewfinder glass, this back piece here, kind of clean that out, clean the top off. Really just kind of trying to tidy it up, so to speak. Do what I can to make sure that it's about as clean as possible within acceptable margins. Then we're gonna take our screws here. Just kind of do a little bit of maintenance work around here. I also like to just check the contacts. The ones you need to be like very concerned. Oh. The ones you need to really look at are these ones right here. I always like to check to make sure that this is intact right there. Everything looks pretty decent. These contacts are relatively good. Spacing wise, things look good, 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 good. All right, cool. Well, I just got a screw on my arm and dropped it on the floor so that's awesome um, yeah that's pretty much it that's just how you remove the top putting it back on it's the same thing but just the opposite uh, you don't want to mess around with stuff too much the only thing I will say is with this you want to make sure that that notch lines up with that slot there so it kind of goes like this and then you rotate it a little bit counterclockwise until wait for it it is in its place there, that's more natural, so to speak. So, again, for those at home, we are matching it up right there, and it rotates around. That's pretty much it. Canon AE-1, how to remove the top. If you have any questions, please comment down below. Uh, let me know, I'd be happy to get back to you. Any of these other videos that are kind of more uh, common, so to speak, that like, you just need help with let me know because again sometimes sometimes I think about it I'm like oh I should make a video about that but other times it just totally skips my mind so if there's more I can do to help people out in their repair journeys just let me know I'd be happy to help appreciate you watching as always like the video if you enjoyed it subscribe to the channel bump up those numbers a little bit more I always appreciate it and uh, yeah catch you on the next one